Hi guys, it's Raymond the Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 259 on SOA exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. The question asks, a drawer contains four pair of socks with each pair a different color. <laughs> so I drew my pair of socks each with different color. One sock, at, one sock at a time is randomly chosen from the drawer until a matching pair is obtained. Calculate the probability the maximum number of draw, draws is required. Okay, so to get the maximum number of drawers, draws, the first after I drew my first initial sock, every sing, I have I would have to draw every single one of the different pairs. Then I would have to draw my the same color again. Does that make sense? So, for example, if I draw purple once, in order to get the maximum number of draws, I would have to draw um draw pink, black, rainbow, and then my fifth draw is going to be that um purple sock again. So using that, so the probability of the first sock or well that i could pick any sock right so that's just that's just 100 but after i pick for example if i say i already picked the purple sock then i only have seven socks left and out of seven socks i would have to pick everything i can't pick purple because that's not going to give me the maximum number but i can pick anything but the purple sock so then i'll have six so six choices left Okay, because I already took one sock out, I only have six socks left in my drawer, like my po potential po um, possible socks. And uh, let's say on the six, seven try, I picked the pink sock. Or I was just say I picked the purple sock. I mean the black sock. Then now, I can't pick another black, and I can't pick another purple. So then I'm only left with one, two, one, two, three, four socks. So that's four out of, sock, four out of six. Okay. Well, I can pick one more time, right? Let's say I... On this try, I picked, here, okay, I'm going to draw this, this time, I picked a black sock. And on this try, my third slot, I picked a pink sock, for example, right? Then, if I pick a pink, pink socks, well, there's, I already took one out, so I have five poss possible choices, and I have, I can't pick purple, I can't pick pink, and I can't pick black, so then I'm left with only two rainbow socks. That's my only choices I can possibly take, right? Yeah, yeah. And then my last one right here, if I already took one out, I only have four socks left over. And my only choice here is that I pick the rainbow sock. Right? I only I picked the rainbow sock. And if I pick the rainbow sock, if I already picked the rainbow sock, then I can only have one, two, then I don't have any more other choices. That's why that's the maximum. So okay. So now I just have to multiply this across. So the numerator is um, 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 6, 48. Divided by, um, bottom is um, 6 times 5 is 30. Um, 30 times 7, 210. So let me plug that into my calculator. So that's equal to 0.22857, blah, 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 which is approximately equal to 0.2286, which is your answer. E. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!